Okay, right here we have some water and it has an indicator in it. It's an acid base indicator. This is water, I heat it up and it's blue. We have an audience of small children. And what I have here is dry ice. Is dry ice. Very good. Kids, wait, what is dry ice? It's super cool ice that can kill you. Right, it can really burn you. And it is made out of carbon dioxide. It's solid carbon dioxide. You can see that it's kind of smoking right now. It's called, do you know the name? Sublimation. So wait. Oh. All right, let's drop this CO2 yeah. into this water. Look at it bubble. So watch it. Tell me if you see the color change at all. No. It's you, turning purple. Is it purple now? Yeah. I see something like so this. So if that color is turning to purple, that must mean that the pH is changing because our, our indicator dye is gonna change color as wow. the solution gets more acidic. So when we add the carbon dioxide into it, that must mean that the CO2 is making the solution more and more acidic and lowering the pH. Yeah, and we can blow it to get more out faster. Yeah, that looks really cool, doesn't it? Good idea. So the carbon dioxide, you guys, is dissolving in the water and when it dissolves in the water it does a chemical reaction the carbon dioxide is going to dissolve and form carbonic acid so it's forming an acid that then reacts with the water and forms hydronium ions in the water which changes the ph so we're going to let this go for a while. It's going to bubble, bubble, bubble. And we'll see if it gets so acidic that the color of our indicator changes significantly to something that's like pink. That would look red. So the fact that it's already purple means it's already more acidic. So what?
All right, this is mostly stopped going and it is just Okay, this is mostly done now. And while it's not a bright red color, you can see that it is definitely a redder shade of purple or a red purple compared to the blue. And just so you remember, the blue color looked like this. Um, and so it's definitely blue versus purple. And I'll show you a similar effect by sharing what happens when we add vinegar to this. So when I just add vinegar to the blue indicator, we should first be able to get it to be like the purple, the lucky. Oh, it's gonna go kind of red, All right? So we're kind of getting a purple color. Now if we keep going. So then you can get this really nice light pink, which is when it's really acidic. So that was just household vinegar. Um, and so you can see that the carbon dioxide dissolved that forms the carbonic acid creates a slightly acidic solution, but nowhere as acidic as this acetic acid from just the uh, vinegar I added to the water there.